Hello and welcome to this tutorial video. The following example will introduce some of the features included in Plaxis LE Slope Stability. In this tutorial, we will set up a model using limit equilibrium method of slices with a grid and tangent search method for circular slip surfaces. The purpose of this model is to determine the factor of safety of a simple model. Let's get started. This example consists of a simple slope with two layers and a water table. The problem is analyzed using the GLE Fredland method. The purpose of this example is to illustrate the calculation of the factor of safety for a simple slope example. The following steps will be required in order to set up the model described in this video. The steps fall under the general categories of creating a model, specify the analysis settings, enter the geometry, apply the material properties, specify the search method for the geometry, specify the pore water, analyze the model, and finally, check the results. The following steps are required to create the model. First, we open the Plaxis LE Manager. Under Models menu, select to create a new model. Select the correct project name, set the module to slope stability, the system to 2D, units to metric, the slips direction left to right, and also define a model name. Click OK to start. In slope stability, the settings dialog is used to specify the method for determining the critical slip surface and the details of the applicable search techniques to be used in the analysis. For this model, the settings will be entered as follows. First, select the settings in the model menu. On the slip surface tab, ensure that the following items are selected. Slip direction left to right, slip shape to circular, and search method to grid and tangent. In the calculation methods tab, from the dialog, make sure to select the GLE Fredland method type. Press OK to close this dialog. Model geometry is defined as a set of regions. Geometry can be either drawn by the user or defined as a set of coordinates. Model geometry can also be imported from sources such as DXF files or from existing models. This model will be divided into two regions, which are named upper soil and lower soil. Each region will have one of the materials specified as its material properties. The shapes that define each material region will now be created. The user may enter geometry by drawing on the CAD, using the dynamic input method, cut and paste data, or import geometry from an existing model. Each of the options will be presented right now. With CAD drawing, first select View and World Coordinate System. Check the Manual and Trip option and change the values from the coordinates are shown here. Click OK to close the dialog. Select Geometry and draw regions polygon to draw the regions. Double click to finish the region drawn. Open the Regions dialog by selecting Geometry, Regions. Change the first region name from R1 to Upper Soil. To do this, highlight the name and type the new text. Change the second region name from R2 to Lower Soil. Click OK 
to close regions dialog. Alternatively, the regions can be created by using the dynamic input method. Start by selecting geometry, draw a region polygon, enter 0 as the x coordinate of the first point, press the tab key on your keyboard to move to the y coordinate, enter 9 as the y coordinate for the first point, and press enter to finish point 1. Continue defining the next steps by pressing the exact coordinates, the tab key, and enter when done. Use Shift-Enter after the last point to create the region. Repeat the same process for the upper soil. Alternatively, the regions can be created by cutting and pasting data from any spreadsheet. Start by opening the Regions dialog under the Geometry menu. Change the first region name from R1 to Upper Soil. To do this, highlight the name and type the new text. Press the New button to add the second region and name it Lower Soil. Now click on the upper soil polygon and select the properties. This will open the region properties dialog. Click on the new polygon option to open the new region polygon dialog. Here, copy the region coordinate data you have for the upper soil and paste it in this field. Click OK to close the dialog and create the new region. Click on the arrow at the top right of the region properties to move to the second region, Lower Soil. Perform the same steps to add the region properties. Click OK on the Region Properties dialog and on the Regions dialog to accept the region changes. Also, the regions can be created by importing them from existing models. In this tutorial, the geometry will be imported from the complete tutorial model which is included in the distribution models. For this, open the Import Geometry dialog by selecting Geometry, Import from Existing Model. Select the Slopes Group underscore 2 project and select the VW9 from the models. Click the Import button to import the geometry. Click Yes and this pop-up and for the purpose of this video, click No. If all model geometry has been entered correctly, this shape will appear as shown here. The next step in defining the model is to enter the material properties for the two materials that will be used in the model. Upper soil region will have the upper soil applied to it and lower soil will have the lower soil applied. In this case, we assume that the user has measured the shear strength of the two materials and the results are collected. This section will provide instructions on creating the upper soil and how to do that for the lower soil too. To do so, open the Materials Manager dialog by selecting Materials, 
Manager. Click the New button to create a material. Enter the upper soil for the material name in the dialog that appears and choose the More Coulomb for the method. Press OK to close the dialog. The Material Properties window will now show up. Move to the Shear Strength tab. Enter the values as shown here. Click OK to close the Material Properties dialog. Repeat the same steps for the lower soil. Once all material properties have been entered, we must apply the materials to the corresponding regions. First, click OK to close the Materials Manager. Open the Region Properties dialog by selecting Geometry, Regions. Select the upper soil and assign the upper soil material to its region. Do the same for the lower soil. Press OK button to accept the changes and close the dialog. The grid and tangent method of searching for the critical slip surface has already been selected. Now the user must specify the graphical representation of the grid and tangent objects on the screen. This is done by following the steps. Go to Slips, Grid and Tangent option. Select the Grid tab and enter the values as follows. Specify the X increments to 4 and the Y increments to 6. Switch to the Tangent tab and enter the values as specified here. Enter the Radius increments to 2. Press OK to close the dialog. The grid and tangent graphics will now be displayed on the CAD window and your screen should look like this. A water table or a piezometric line must be specified as a pore water for this model. In this model, a piezometric line will be used. In order to specify that piezometric line, the following will be done. Select pore water and settings. Select water table as the pore water pressure method. Use the piezometric lines button to access the piezometric lines dialog. Select the piezometric line 1 on the top left hand side of the window. Copy the X and Y coordinates as provided here. Click on Paste Points button. Check Upper Soil and Lower Soil in Apply to Region section. Press OK to close the piezometric lines dialog and press OK to close the pore water pressure dialog. Now your screen will look like this. The next step is to analyze the model. Select Solve Analyze from the menu. The Slope Stability Solver dialog will pop up and automatically solve. Select the Results button to view the results. The visual results for the current model may also be examined by selecting Solve and Open Output icon. The model results will be displayed. If the model has been appropriately entered into the software, the approximate results should be shown for the GLE Fredland method. It should be noted that it is typically recommended that the search grid of centers be somewhat larger in order to ensure that the critical center is not missed.
the user can view the trial sleep services by selecting sleeps, sleep services, and checking the show trial sleep services checkbox. The user can also view the slice information by selecting slips and slice information. Thank you for watching this tutorial video.